Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. I'm kind of whispering a little bit because I'm testing out the Shure VP83 microphone. Um, I'll save that for a different review, but I'm wanting to see how it sounds before I actually do the review. So that's why I'm talking quietly. But this is about the Kingston Expert Mouse. It's about $70 at B&H. I've been wanting to try this for a while. Um, I've tried it for the last couple days, maybe have like two or three hours under my belt, enough to where you guys start to feel muscle memory start to come in. With the mouse, um, I'm not sold on it. A um, couple of reasons I'll tell you why. Basically, the reason I wanted to get it is I wanted to get um, you know more accurate color grading. Because when I use a mouse, let me show you what I do with speed grade, is when you go to a color wheel and you, you right click, and then you can move the, the mouse around very s slowly, and you can see it makes pretty large changes, um, even for the amount of small movement. It's almost like it moves a pixel to the left, pixel to the right kind of thing. And then when you're done, you can just click again and you're out. Um, with this one, you do get a lot more finer control when you move around, um, which is, is great. But this, this uh, wheel right here is also really nice because it can actually control the brightness for that particular color wheel. You know, I've tried it. It's, I gotta say the construction, it, it's a little bit cheap and it, it doesn't even balance on the table very well with this um, arm re or wrist guard rest, whatever you wanna call it. Not really working for me. I'd rather just use the mouse, um, even though this gives me more control, but it's a pain going back and forth between the two because just using this in my everyday work um, didn't work very well. And you can use two mount mice at the same time in tandem plugged into USB ports and it works fine, at least on the PC side of things, Windows. So what I was thinking, if maybe you guys would know this, I have no idea, but is there a way to take three of these, gang them together somehow, and the real power that I have watched other colors do is when you can control two or three of them at the same time. Um, so you're you're adjusting your shadows and your midtones, and your one's going cooler, but one's going warmer kind of thing, and you're doing it exactly at the same time. I don't know if you can do that by th you know have three of them. What's that? A hundred and or two hundred, a little over two hundred dollars worth of hardware, and have some sort of software solution to make them work at the same time. I don't know. I think probably the better solution is some sort of iPad app where you can, because um, I know Tangent Wave has one, but I haven't quite figured out if you can actually use it. Uh, summary on this review, I'm not sold on this. I'm going to be sending it back. Um, it doesn't really work for me. Um, I'll keep using the mouse until I find a cheap controller or I think probably the best way to go is maybe an iPad app that interfaces with SpeedGrade. If you guys know of anything like that, definitely let me know and definitely watch out for this um, review on this particular microphone. Also, I've got another one in. This is the VP83F, which actually has a built-in recorder into it, which looks pretty cool. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.